Hello and welcome to another episode of Whisker Fight TV. I'm your host Jez and this is episode 108. Now, I was told last week or the week before that I needed to go in the proof number. This week isn't like that, as you guys saw, because I'm doing a bottle of Stellum Bourbon. So I do apologise to Jacob because, you know, that it didn't actually happen like that. I know he wanted it, but, you know. So I'll have to find something 109 proof for next week. Wait, is it 108? I don't think it is. 107. No, it is 108. There you go. I'm losing it. Now, yeah, as I said, this is Stellan Bourbon, also known as the Cygnus B8 by Whiskey Hunt Australia. Just get a cheeky little pop there. Nice pop. Is a uh, cork. There as well. Oh, I'm not used to... I did say that. I said I'm not used to the... Gross. Not really. No, it's good, but... At least my hands will smell amazing for the rest of the afternoon. Now, first things first, I'm sorry Brock for just spilling some of this, this juice. Secondly... It was meant to be three three weeks since I spilled it last, but you know, we're we're back down to uh, zero because you know, this is what happens. We change the glass size, just to appease Denver and Lily. But here we are. Wrong glass size. No, we can't really blame that. It it does have a weird kind of well not really. Uh, it happens. What can I say? Just clean up. Tidy house. Okay, we're good now. So, love the colour of that too. It's good stuff. Okay, so as I said, Stellum Single Barrel Pick Cygnus B8 by Whiskey Hunt Australia. It's 119.42 proof. Gee. 59.71% ABV. Runs a new chart American oak cask and it lives in that cask for five years and two months. Cost me $169 uh, and US about 60 odd bucks from Total Wine with their latest pick. The mash bill is 60% corn, 36% rye, and 4% malted barley. Now, if you guys aren't familiar, Stellum was released by Barrelcraft Spirits in March 2021. Now, as a, they wanted to kind of pitch this to general consumers as like a, a national brand that you can go down the shops and just pick up and enjoy just for like the modern whiskey drinker. I, I can kind of understand that because considering it's about 160 bucks for barrel strength. We don't really see much barrel strength on the market. We were getting the Knob Creek, the nine-year-old uh, 120 proof for about 120 bucks. So it kind of fills that void now that we don't have it. Um, and then Booker's same sort of deal. So it's in that, that price point there. I can see how that's everyday drinker. Uh, rather than being like a batch product, um, like Majora, actually I don't have any of their normal stuff from any of their batch releases, but because I've only got single barrel stuff here. This is going for more of a, what, what I read was like a, a daisy chained approach where they like leave a little bit, kind of like a sour mash. You guys understand sour mash where you leave a little bit of the mash in there and kind of just uh, add a little bit, but still keeping the same, the essence there. Same deal with the Stellum stuff for the bourbon release and rye releases, but this being a single barrel, they've kind of gone and found this one particular barrel and gone, yes, this this is so unique, we can't really put it in the batch, 
let's just release it out. Kind of like what they do with every other single barrel. Like, it's nothing crazy there, but, you know, the magic of marketing. That I basically covered all that anyway in probably less words than what I wrote down. So I guess the proper copy will be written in the description. Yeah, depends what you guys want. So, as, uh, as I said earlier, the rest of my glasses are in the wash. So I'm using the Denver and Lily with the whisker fire engraving on the front. And uh, I will say that... It's funny how you like taste out a different glass and kind of give you a different experience. Sorry, I was getting a phone call for some reason and don't know why. I'll let that go through to the keeper and I'll um, I'll call them back. So just on the nose there, I'm getting this kind of dry erase marker note very similar to like what i'd find in eagle rare but you're still getting those honeys those caramels hint of hint of orange probably not as extreme as uh what's that one that i did the other day i can't remember i can't remember but coming uh Nah, you guys will work it out. You guys know. I actually put it away the other day. So it's sitting on the bar for like four days. Who knows? Yeah. Super orange. That's going to bug me now. I can't remember what it was. But it's like that. It's like that. But not really. And I'm still getting maybe a little bit of vanilla. Not really much though. I just kind of nosing this I know exactly what it smells like but I'm not going to say it Russell's Reserve single barrel but probably like at a higher proof it's nice but it tastes alright Good Kentucky chew there. Very thick. Good mouth coating and spice. Kind of like working tip of the tongue, side of the tongue, whole tongue, back of the tongue. Complete coating. Not intense, but you can definitely feel it. Now, for the finish, go for another Kentucky chew. So, sticking with my uh, Russell's Reserve theory, there is plenty of cherry on that finish. Um, it's just like a long finish. There's a little bit of... I can definitely get these woody notes there, but not on the first two times around. Hmm. I have to write that down. Uh, so, yeah, cherries, and there's this... this you know that orange note I was picking up, it's more of like a toasted kind of orange wheel, toasted orange zest, a little bit of smokiness. So break it down, a little bit of smokiness, a little bit of like orange wheel zest, smokiness. It's good. It's good. Enjoyable. Now, onto the by barrel pass with my cheeky little notes. So from the top, it's a complex drop from start to finish. As I said, uh, the dry erase marker, caramel, did I say honey? There's honey in there too. Just off my um, original tasting notes there because I didn't seem to say it this time around. Uh, second one is on par with the Stellum pricing as well. So as I said, the normal Stellum is about 160 odd bucks. This comes in at 169, so $9 more. Supporting the guys at Awesome, so awesome oh and whiskey hunt australia obviously thirdly uh it's young ish juice but once again it's something different uh 
I kind of compared it to Russell's Reserve, very similar. If you enjoy like Wild Turkey, Russell's Reserve, definitely for you because it does hit at that higher proof mark, even though it's like 10 proof points higher. Still enjoyable. Uh, obviously, I'm going to put this down as a buy because, hey, it's not really like that. That probably sounded worse than what it, it is, but it's not. It's good. There's, like, as I said, that dry race marker that kind of like nosy, and you're like, mm, it's kind of like Eagle Rare here. There's those oaky notes. There's thick viscosity, high proof, makes Jeremy happy. Therefore, Hopefully, I'm relaying it to you that it's good. It's good juice. I enjoy it. It's delicious stuff. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there because we are at almost 11 minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed your Whiskey Wednesday as much as I enjoyed my Whiskey Wednesday and this drop. Um, jump on and check out the Stellum Single Barrel Cygnus B8 range too because we're on range. It's like one barrel. The one barrel. That is actually on pre-sale at the moment at time of recording but i'm sure it'll be up on the website and it won't last long because i believe the standard stellum sold out for um for australia so this will probably go just as quick but yeah let me know what you thought if you a enjoyed the video b enjoyed stellum the single barrel line and the uh bat not batch stuff daisy chained uh normal releases too Please let me know. Love y'all. Enjoy your Whiskey Wednesday. I'm Jez. Stay thirsty. Peace.